Uh, what's good YouTube, it's Jay here. Really quick, I wanted to make a quick little video for Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, today, there was maintenance for the game, so <laughs> unfortunately a lot of people got kicked out of their games and um, whatnot. But apparently Master Duel has reached over 10 million downloads as a total. And as a reward for that, Konami has apparently given out 1,000 gems to everybody. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain the servers should be working again now. Ah, we've got a little bit of an update. We've got uh, 530 kilobytes of data to download. Um, we're going to take a look really quick and see what the new maintenance changes are and uh, and whatnot. Uh, oh, here's an alert. Thanks to all of you, Master Duels reached 10 million downloads. As a token of our gratitude, limited time login missions that give you 1,000 gems are underway. Wait. Mission? Oh, it's total. Oh, I thought it was going to be... Um, Towards these mission trip, living times. Which one was there? Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So it's not, it's not like they're just giving us free stuff. Oh, wait, no. We got it right here. Wait, okay. Let's let's check these unlimited ones. I'm um, pretty certain this is what they were talking about, right? Okay, 500 or 300 or 50 50. Um, <laughs> okay, so I guess that really was just a limited one right there. Uh, it's it's a mission, so I miss I misunderstood that for a hot second. I thought that was going to imply we actually had to work for it, um, uh, which sh which on paper wouldn't be a big issue. Um, but okay, let's see if we can read. Can we read about the maintenance anywhere at all? Where do we read about that? At? I was curious to see um, gameplay notes. All right, well, I guess there's no real way to check. Uh, I don't know how you check, actually, to see what the uh, the uh, the maintenance changes were. But okay. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what they could have potentially done about the game or to the game. Um, but uh, either way, let's uh, let's open let's open some packs and see what we can pull out of them. Then. But yeah, there was maintenance today, so go ahead and log in, get your free 1,000 gems. Uh, I haven't bought any packs in a minute. Uh, let me get rid of my legacy packs really quick. I really hope they implement a feature to dismantle um, the cards from that because they're just such a waste. They just just sit there. I've, I have yet to buy these structure decks or all of them, and I doubt I will. I haven't bought any of the uh, mates, anything of that sort. Um, we might use 100 gems to just get like the uh, the Trishula uh, skins for our cards. But all right. Um... I'm going to get a pack of stalwart for or a set of packs of master, maybe because I mean, this is what every single card in the game, right? Yeah, and this one is just mostly meta stuff. I mean, there's some pretty powerful meta cards in here, um, but it's there's, there's a lot that's there's a lot that's um, uh, missing out of all of this. Like all the ultras we get are just this. Uh, they're, they're like staples. I mean, OK, maybe we won't be getting this back. Uh, the master packs are usually kind of a waste, but let's take our chance to see what we get out of them. Uh, we're gonna open up ten packs, and then uh, we're gonna do the scandalous YouTube YouTuber thing where we just open them one at a time. Oh snap! Looks like we're upgrading to a super rare pack. Okay. Nope, we didn't actually upgrade to a super rare pack. <laughs> All right, nothing special out of that one. Honestly, the animations always confuse me because I, I don't truly know what they what they mean. All right, let's see what we get. Um, nothing special. What is this? Boot up Corporal Command Dynamo. Oh, this is for gadgets. Okay. Next. Let's see what we get. This should be an ultra rare. This will be an ultra rare. Uh, hopefully, we can use this to craft some new cards. Okay. We got Gungadir, Dragon of the Ice Barrier. Nice, nice. Pretty decent card. Gotta get broken down, but pretty decent card. Alright, so we got another super rare right there. And we got another... Oh, we got two super rares. Nice. Cyber Eternity Dragon and Shape Sister. Uh, Eternity is actually pretty, pretty solid. Is a pretty solid card. Um, Yeah, pretty solid card overall. Alright, pack number five. Let's see what we get. Oh, oh my god! Okay. Three ultra rares or three supers and an ultra rare? Okay. Michael. Goki Master Ogre. Herald of Ultimateness. That is a solid pack. That's all of our luck for this for these packs, by the way. Um <laughs> There goes all of our luck, baby. <laughs> Alright. Magician of Chaos is actually a pretty solid uh um 
card if you play uh if you play Dark Magicians anyway, I believe. Okay, what do we got next? Another super rare question mark pack. Let's see what we pull out of this one. Okay, we got what we got one super rare. Okay. Black Whirlwind, pretty solid. Uh like I said, we need more we need more ways to get like the crafting materials other than just breaking down cards to get from packs. I wish you could convert. Cause I have so many normal points that I just don't ever like. They're just gonna sit there and never be used. Torque tuning gear or tor torque tune gear. Remember, used to be used in a uh, ABC, I believe. Got another super rare. Two super rares. Nice mistake. We can break these down. Uh, we won't. We won't be using them. And pack number ten. Let's uh. Let's see what we get out of this one. We got an ultra rare too. Okay. Fright for fusion and evil swarm Ophion. If we were in a different format, this would be an incredible card. Uh, I hope that we do get these alternate formats that we've uh, that have been data mined apparently for the game. Uh, but that is a pretty solid set of ult, uh, super rares. Uh, lots of stuff we can break down and convert. And then we still got 100. We've got exactly 99 left. Uh, do we have any missions we can finish? Nope. All right. <laughs> All right. We'll screw it. We'll, we'll, we'll dump. We'll dump money into one more pack, or we'll dump gems into one more pack. Um. Let's see. What do we go for? We're we just gonna go for another master pack. Why not? I'm trying to be as free to play as I can be with this game. Oh, we got a super rare. Nice. I just knocked my phone off my desk too. Two super rares, okay. Okay. Cool. I thought this said UA libido spiker. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, let's go. Let's go break some stuff down and then debate on what we're gonna actually craft out of all of this stuff. Um, one of the decks that I've been working on is full. Is the uh, is the scrap orchestra? Scrap orchestra. Uh, a build and I've been wanting to get another copy of um long gear suit so let's set this to order obtained okay and then we'll just first off we'll dismantle all of our extra cards which we have plenty of and then uh we'll go through all these super rares really quick because we're not gonna we're not gonna keep pretty much any of these uh <laughs> unfortunately okay we're gonna break all these down I, only want to, I, I might keep the Black World one. We're going to hold on to that one for a second. I don't care about any of these. These two. And I think that should be it. Unless there are some super rares hiding that I wasn't aware that I had. Um, yeah, we got all three of the ultra rares here. Okay. Yep. Okay, so we're going to have 110, which is pretty solid. Okay. So to fix up this deck... There were a lot of cards that I mentioned in the previous video that I made on Scrap Orcus that I wanted to uh, to to add to this. One of them was Fossil Dig, but uh, we don't have three copies of that, so I don't really know if that's really even uh, worth crafting. D Gear Suit is a card that I want, unfortunately. I think we're gonna have to go ahead and craft it. I want to make this deck work. Cut down the upstart. We're gonna make our long Gear Suit. It was a very usable link three uh, for these <laughs> for these orcas the shenanigans. Uh, we got a we got a shiny version of it too. Um, okay, we'll hold this for a hot second. Do we get a new pack we can open? Oh nah. Okay. So there are a set of packs that you can open uh, duplicates of to uh, get a bunch of basically free packs or free crafting materials. I'd have to pull up the YouTube video on it though. Um, Okay, so what else do we want to do for this deck? We can get more dangers involved. Ah, uh, O-Lion. So, let's see, Mecha, actually. Mecha. Mecha Phantom Beast O-Lion. Let's set this by rarity really quick. This is a super rare. Okay, we're gonna craft this. Extremely good card to have in this deck. And probably better than our Rosenix, for sure. Um, ah, we can actually, we can actually get a free pack right now. Let's just go ahead and get our free pull really quick. <laughs> and, uh, let's see what we get. We got a, we got a super rare. We're just going to skip this one. 
Machina Air Raider. Nice. Just free break. That's free stuff to break down once again. Um, but okay. This is going to help our deck very, very much in the long run. Hopefully one day uh, we'll get a third Galatea. I'm debating on crafting her. Uh, I probably don't really need to go that far and do that. Um, pretty unnecessary, honestly. Okay, so we've got our fan, we've got our O Lion, which is an incredible, incredible card to have in this deck. Um, but again, I just don't feel like this deck is truly optimized. Arma. Arma is a super rare. Do we have reinforcements of the army? We should have reinforcement. Enforcement. Okay, we do have this as ultra rare. Um. Let's see, should we make this card? I think we're gonna make this card. It's at one, but that's okay. I don't know if we're gonna fully need it for this build. Um, and I think we're gonna make one more Danger Jackalope. Uh, what all Danger cards actually exist? Danger. Okay, so pretty much all of them are super rares, all the primary ones. Uh, which makes sense. And then obviously we've got the lesser important ones down here. Um... So, I mean, like, we could craft ourselves another Jackalope. It's crazy to think that Danger Nessie's at three in the TCG now. But, uh, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut right here really quick. I'm going to take a look at my actual deck. <laughs> uh, like, my whole goal with this deck is to not net deck. Um, we might take a look at a couple of different profiles really quick. Actually, we might as well. Just to get some ideas so we don't waste what materials we have left. We do have a lot of... Uh, a lot of materials there are not a lot of materials one of the problems with this game though is the search system for decks on here is pretty bad if you even try to type in the name of something in this category it just doesn't show up sometimes it's very consistent okay so let's see what we got here he's got three gear suit hey man that card is not a lot what the hell is this it's like an IRL meta deck I guess uh, this is actually an incredible card to have barricade boar blocker. That's an incredible card to craft and I actually might craft this one because it's super rare um, Three danger Nessie interesting, okay But then again, that's a that's more of an IRL meta build IP Masquerina was the card that I forgot to craft. That's the one that I was thinking of. Oh, well, that's okay um, And Orochi, okay, we probably should have skipped out on the gear suit. That's okay. This is one, this is a, this is a chaos. These are all chaotic. <laughs> I've got like reptile orcus, lots of, lots of different variants for the, uh, for these orcus builds. This is probably the most viable one I've seen by far. We could craft topologic Trisbania, but I'm thinking we might want to go with, a, with more dangers because I mean, we could have so many copies of the danger cards right now. We might as well. They're walking uh, upstart goblin. Okay. Yeah, because my goal is to get all the upstarts out of the deck. I didn't think it was necessary. Um, okay. Now let's see. Barricade. Barricade board blocker is a super rare. That's unfortunate. Um, I don't know what any other good link monsters we could put into this deck that aren't, uh, you know, that aren't, uh, uh, you know, super ultra rares. I guess we could look at our rarities really quick. And then uh, we'll sort it by Link Monsters. This is not your typical like Yu-Gi-Oh style video, I guess like a lot of other content creators uh, <laughs> that they make. But I mean, I just have fun doing whatever, man. I just, pl I just play the game, try to make some fun content around it, give some thoughts and opinions on my deck ideas. Um, you know, so hopefully you guys really do truly enjoy this kind of stuff. Let's see. We could put Orcustrian in here. I mean, <laughs> we could put this card in here. It ain't it ain't the best Orcus monster, but I mean, like, I mean, like it, it can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. It's not an awful card by any means, by any definition of the word. So I mean, because honestly, what do we need? What do we need? Uh, how can Fibrex for it right now? I don't think we really have a purpose for them. We're gonna swap this out and just do this. How can Fibrex serves no actual purpose in our deck right now? I just realized. Um, but yeah, next card we're gonna be sure to craft is um, that that barricade board blocker. We actually might be able to do that because we did just get another super rare. 
I don't know which one it was, though. Let's see. Hmm. It was this one. Okay. We could break him down. I'm starting to drift away a little bit from uh, our, tr our, uh, our true Dracos, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm starting to get a little bored of them. Uh, I might break down our Cynet Codec here because I haven't played Cybers in a minute. Um, let's see. Can I? Oh, can I break down? I have two of these. So I, yeah, I'll definitely break that down then for sure. Um, Xcode Talker. I'm debating on. I've been debating on breaking down for a while. <laughs> Starly Cipher. I don't use at all. Okay. Yeah, so, okay, so we're gonna craft this. I had to re- I had to reread his effect really quick. Yeah, we're gonna craft this, cut this out. Because this could be two monsters with different names. And then I think this is a solid build. I think we could- I think we could work with this. Let's- let's take a look at some sample hands really quick. Uh, double max C. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not- it's not- like I said, it's not our most optimized build, but we're getting there. Slowly but steadily. So shout out again to Konami for giving us free 1,000 gems, I mean... At this point, it's just crafting mats. This is an awful hand, actually. Um, I don't know if we really want to run all these going second cards anymore, though. So maybe we, we'll, maybe we will just slap a, <laughs> maybe we will just slap some more upstarts in here and get rid of the lightning storms. I mean, we should be able to play around pretty much anything. I want to say again, we're gonna do some duels, some practice duels, and. Uh, uh, figure all of that out, but again, my goal is to try to make this as optimized as humanly possible. Now I've decided I'm not going to look back at my deck. We don't have the materials to craft anything else, unfortunately. So, uh, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Be sure to leave a like on it and sub to the channel. In the next video, we will give another shot with Scrap Orcus. I know the first video wasn't exactly uh, great, and it probably won't be up before this video will, <laughs> uh, because this is more of an update to what Konami just recently did today. Um. But um, if I if I even upload the video, it wasn't really that great in my opinion. Some of the gameplay was just a little, eh. We'll see. Um, but again, thank you for watching. Be sure to leave a like on it, sub to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.